This is a French cleat wall panel. It was milled out of a half inch sheet of Baltic birch plywood. They're great for tool storage. And in this video, we're gonna walk through the process of how we mill these on the Avid CNC. And, oh, interesting logo animation. So after the tutorial, we're gonna talk more about what's cool about these French cleat panels, but we kinda of wanna just jump right into the meat of this video. So here we go. So we're starting off securing the plywood to the spoil board using composite nails. We're doing this to quickly hold down the workpiece while we're using this bit to drill guide holes. The guide holes or registration holes are important because we're going to flip the workpiece and mill both sides. We're now using screws here to hold the workpiece down and we've made sure that the tool paths don't interfere with the screws. For the next pass, we're gonna use a half inch down cut bit to clear out a lot of the area between the cleats. So this part of the process is wasting some material, which is one of the downsides of this design. This eighth inch down cut bit will be used to drill out all of the screw holes that are used to secure the French cleat panel to the wall. The screw holes are spaced four inches apart to accommodate different wall stud spacing. This 45 degree V-groove bit will add an angle to the bottom of the cleats. You can see how the panels are taking shape. We just have one more cut to do on the top using a 45 degree dovetail bit. And this bit is surprisingly hard to find. So if you're looking for it online, make sure to check the link in the description. It's hard to see here, but this 45 degree undercut is the angle that all of the holders will rest on. Now we're gonna flip the workpiece over using the registration holes and mill the backside. This backside milling is optional. We added some dados to accept metal brackets that will hold the French cleat panels together if your walls have some bumps or aren't perfectly flat. For the last pass, we're using a quarter inch compression bit on the contour outer edge of the panel. This last pass is using tabs, so we have an oscillating tool to go back over and cut the tabs and release the panel from the extra edges. So here's the final result, and you're probably asking what is the difference between this type of system and more traditional French cleats? Well, traditional French cleats work really well with hanging up heavy things like kitchen cabinets where you really only need one cleat across the top and then cabinets will hang from that. This is more for tool storage. It will hold heavy things, but it really helps you to be a lot more efficient and stack things really close together. Also, all of the labor on creating something like this is done by the CNC. Whereas if you were to make a whole wall panel of French cleats, you would have to glue and screw them all individually and, and make sure that they're all spaced evenly and accurately. So we have done a lot of traditional French cleats before in the past. This entire wall is three quarter inch French cleats on a half inch backer board. And for tool storage, it's debatable whether how efficient it is. There's a lot of material there just to hold things up on a wall. If we were doing kitchen cabinets, that would probably be a better solution. But for tool storage, this probably is more efficient. Even with the loss of material, that is gouged out to form the cleats, this is a more efficient approach. So one question we're definitely gonna get is, are these strong? Are these strong enough to hold heavy things? If you look at the profile of the cleat, it is actually less than a quarter of an inch thick. But because this is bolted birch plywood and the way that these were constructed, it is really, really strong. It can hold pretty heavy things. If you were using a lower quality plywood, with gaps or less layers, you would probably see some delamination, but this version is actually working really well. So because the wall panels have multiple cleats that are all evenly spaced and very accurate, you can build holders that will transfer the load to multiple cleats. So the heavier the object is, you can make bigger holders or bigger panels to support a lot of that weight. So I'm a little over six feet tall and 225 pounds. Like anything though, physics is important. <laughs> so if you were to hang way out here because it's, it acts like a lever, you will definitely break the cleat and the cleat will come off the wall. Another cool aspect of these panels is that they fit with themselves. You can cut a piece off of one of the panels, flip it around and make a holder really quickly. So here's an example of a French cleat holder that goes on the wall panels. This was designed and built by Chris over at A Glimpse Inside. He has started building products for our French cleat panel wall system, 
as well as traditional French cleat holders. Definitely check him out. He's an amazing maker. This turned out really, really cool. He's got a bunch of other products on his website. Thanks for doing this, Chris. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions about the wall panels, please let us know. We're happy to help. And if you're interested in building some yourself, we have plans available on our website. And we're also selling them. So cool. Thanks for watching.